Hi everyone, my name is Camille Maltz. I'm a singer songwriter and I've been playing the auto harp for a little bit over a decade now. I've been getting a lot of questions about my auto harp, how I tune it, the model I use, finger picks, and so on and so on. So if you'd like to learn a little more about my own experience and also hear my funny accent, yay! And how I do things, stick around and I hope you enjoy. So I got my auto harp back in 2010 and I've decided to go with this model. This is an Oscar Schmidt one, although there are many, many different brands and types of auto harps. This was the one I was aware of back in the time, so I chose to go with this one. And I picked the Chromatic 21 chord auto harp. It is also one that has um, amplification. You can connect it to an app. I will post the name of the exact model in the description, although I think they don't have the exact model. Maybe they discontinued it, but something very similar. So just so you know, this is what I picked. This auto harp has 36 strings, three and a half octaves, basically five minor chords, eight major seven and eight regular standard majors. Um, it definitely needs some tuning, so I'll be tuning it too. It starts from, yeah, it starts from F2 and goes all the way up to C6. If I'm not wrong. If you ever wondered how the mechanism works, I actually just recently got all the strings replaced and I can show you how it looks on the inside. This is um, the top piece of the chord bar. As you can see, there are holes for the buttons to go through them. I have some buttons here so I can show you. And then you have the chord bars. The chord bars are made of um, normally wood or metal, and they have those little pieces of felt. Uh huh, uh huh. So inside this box are those chord bars, and each chord bar has a different shape. Those little pieces of felt are muting the strings that aren't needed in the chord. So let's say I'm playing a C major. Whatever is not a C, an E, or a G would be muted. So I have 21 of those. They're in here. Whenever I push a button, they go down and mute whatever strings are not needed. Let me just show you how it sounds when I don't press any button. This is cute. Another thing I use to play are my finger picks. Some people never realize that I'm not actually using my nails. I'm using plastic finger picks. When I got mine, they were kind of big because my fingers are just so small. So I adjusted them by putting them in warm water and then kind of pressing them and shrinking them and making them small. So I use two fingers and one thumb. They fit perfectly. Let me show you. And the way I use them is I put the plasticky part facing outwards. So some would think to put them like this as an extension of my nails, but basically I put them the other way around. So there's friction, you know, between them and the auto harp. This guy definitely needs some tuning. For tuning, there are two types of wrenches. My auto harp, this model has the top tuning, section and the fine tuning at the bottom. What I do is I take the auto harp. You could use a clip-on tuner. I'm using my phone. I have an app that I've been happy with. It's called ClearTune. I basically place it on the auto harp. I start with the top wrench, uh, an L-shaped one. There are ones that are flat, which are also fine. I just got this one and I'm happy with it so far. Um, I'm going to tune a few strings from the top and then a few from the bottom. Found out that it creates less pressure or let's say the pressure is more even as I go. So everything stays a little bit more in tune instead of tuning all the way from the lower octave to the higher or the other way around. I found out over the years that this works better for me. I'm going to move the camera in order for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm taking the top wrench and I'm gonna start. 
going outwards would lower the pitch. So this one has to be a C. Oh, looking good on the tuner. Yep. Looks about right. And if I want to tune it a little more, I'm using the fine tuning over here to adjust it. And then the next one is a B. And the motions are very tiny. You push just a tiny bit and it changes the pitch in like half a step. So you have to make the smallest moves. Again, if I want to fine tune that I'm going to this section, make sure you're hitting the right string. Aha, uh -huh. green. Looking good. That's an A sharp or B flat. Again, I'm pushing outwards and I'm making super small motions. Notice I'm not pushing, I'm not tilting it. I'm just making super small motions. That's already almost half a step what I just did now. Very delicate. Sounds about right. So I tuned three strings from the top. Now I'm going to go back and tune three strings at the bottom so that I create an equal amount of pressure from both sides of the auto harp. This guy over here is an F. Oof. Almost an F sharp. So this G is really close. So I'll just use the fine tuning. To make sure I'm putting it in the right string, I'll just hit the string and then touch the string over here to make sure that it stops vibrating, see? Instead of, you know, maybe putting it in the wrong place and tuning the wrong string. Sounds good. Lower octave. I'm done tuning. I'm gonna put back my wrenches in my little bag that I've had forever. And let's see how this sounds. <laughs> covered everything that's pretty much the basics if you have some more questions please write them to me in the comment section and i'll try to respond to them i want to say thank you to my patreon patrons for supporting and for making this uh, video possible if you want to help me make more of these videos and other covers and originals please consider joining there's a link in the description and i'm going to pop one up here as well ever wondered how all of the chords on the auto harp sound like now's your moment <laughs> very sad E minor. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit about the auto harp and stay happy and healthy. Till next time. Ooh, ooh.